Either I want to explore a city or I want to be in bed laying with a bag of Cheetos. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. So in today's video, we are going to be addressing, exposing, debunking some flight attendant stereotypes, although some of them are gonna be true. So over on Instagram, I posted this to my story and had y'all tell me some flight attendant stereotypes that you have heard or that you actually have. So that's what we are going to be using today. If you are not following me on Instagram, go ahead over there and follow me so that way you can be a part of a lot of my videos. Also go follow my eyelash Instagram and I am also now on Twitter, woohoo! So go join the party and while you're doing that, Press that subscribe button. This ain't your first video. It ain't gonna be your last video. So just go ahead and press that button. So we're gonna take this time for you to do that. Ready, go. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's just dive into the video. Okay, so number one, let's just go ahead and address the big old elephant in the room. And that is pilots. I feel like one of the biggest stereotypes of flight attendants is that we hook up or that we marry pilots. And let me just say, like, some of y'all really need to stop watching, like, Pilot P and Denzel Washington movies. Good morning, Trina. Good morning, Captain Whitaker. Here's your manifest with 102 souls on board. Let's get them tucked in. We're ready to push. Because that is not what a lot of pilots look like. Like, y'all need to start watching a little bit more Tom Hanks and Sully. You know what I mean? Oh my god. But no, this one is not true most of the time. Flight attendants are not hooking up or even marrying pilots. Now there are some flight attendants who are married to pilots. There are some flight attendants who are actually married to other flight attendants, which is so cool whenever you get to fly with like a couple duo, as long as like they're having a really good day <laughs> together. But no, this is so not true. And like back in the day, flight attendants and pilots actually used to stay together as a crew. I went over this in like my top 15 things that would surprise you about flight attendants but we really don't do that anymore and in fact we actually switch pilots on almost every single flight the chances of a flight attendant hooking up with a pilot are just like almost non-existent at least not on like company time in your own personal life like do your thing but on company time absolutely not this would not happen so yeah no <laughs> Okay, and number two, that flight attendants love to gossip about passengers in the galley. <laughs> And I would say this one's absolutely not true. In fact, you're probably more likely to hear a flight attendant gossiping about another flight attendant in the back galley than about a passenger. I mean, most of the time, like, passengers are pretty easygoing most of the time. So, yeah, we don't have much to say about y'all. A lot of times, we're just, like, spilling our whole life stories, our problems. It's kind of a running joke that you won't even remember a flight attendant's name, but you can say their whole entire life story. Yeah, we're much more likely to, you know, be talking about... <clears throat> ourselves than we are to be talking about passengers in the back galley. Okay, and number three, that flight attendants drink too much wine. <laughs> Just a little splash. <laughs> okay, let me be honest. Nobody wrote this. I wrote this. But yeah, flight attendants do generally drink a lot of wine, not when we're on duty. As not on duty. I feel like I have to clarify that again. Absolutely not on duty. We do get drunk and alcohol tested, but you know, on our off time or a nice long layover, you would be really hard pressed to find a flight attendant who didn't enjoy a glass of wine. So yeah, sorry. I put that one in there, but that does bring me on over to number four. And that is that flight attendants party a lot. Ready to party. And this one is absolutely not true. I would say nine times out of 10, this is not true. We usually work really long duty days. Not always, but usually we have long days. We can have lots of flights. We can have long sit times. So by the time that we are done, we are exhausted. And the last thing we want to be doing is partying out. I do feel like this stereotype got brought on from, you know, back in the day because I have heard some stories from some people that just made my jaw drop. But back in the day compared to how it is now is like a world of difference. A world of difference. I mean, usually we might explore a city, we might find some good food, and many a times you're gonna find us 
Slam Clicking, which if you haven't checked out my merch, go check out my merch. I do have Slam Clicker merch along with a lot of other stuff. Sprinkle that little plug in there. But yeah, Slam Clicking is basically when you get to the hotel, you slam the door, you click the lock, and you are done. You don't even see your crew until it's time for the shuttle the next day. Okay, so number five, that flight attendants live a lavish lifestyle. <laughs> Okay, this one actually made me laugh because the number of times that I have eaten next to a trash can or a lavatory is just a disgusting amount. It's really disgusting and I know every single flight attendant can vouch for this. Well, there's like an ongoing joke that you're not a flight attendant unless you are eating within like two feet of a trash can. So yeah, it's, it's not lavish at all. I mean, some of the layovers are like so fun and like maybe you can have some luxury. And I mean, if you're at that top flight attendant salary, especially for a main line, I mean, you're making some money. You're making some money. You might, you might have a fun, lavish vacation on your own time, but actually the flight in a job is not lavish like there is nothing lavish about wearing gloves and picking up trash <laughs> okay and number six I saw this one a lot like a lot a lot and that is that flight attendants have different lovers at every layover <laughs> now trust me there are flight attendants out there that that is like their goal, that is what they like to do, they like to have fun, which as long as you are being safe, you're not taking anybody back to your hotel room or anything like that, do your thing, boo. But I would say the mass majority of us are either married, in a committed relationship, or single with the driest of cell phones. I mean, it's really hard to date a flight attendant, and honestly, like when I'm on a layover, the first thing I'm thinking is either I wanna explore a city, or I wanna be in bed laying with a bag of Cheetos. I mean, there's really no in between. There's no time for anybody else. It's either me or it's me. Obviously, I'm married, but for the one percent of you out there, do your thing, boo. Do your thing. <laughs> Number seven: that flight attendants all have an attitude, and that that smile is fake. So let's go ahead and address the attitude first. I would say that flight attendants are generally like the most fun, the funniest, the craziest, outgoing, like best people I have ever met. I would say like if you could take like the best one person of people in the world, they would be flight attendants. Oh, I just I love the mass majority of flight attendants I meet. That's not to say that there's not a rotten egg in the carton. Is it an egg, egg carton? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I would not to say that there's not a bad egg in the carton, but usually if you have an upset flight attendant, they're just having a bad day. We're people too. I mean, you could meet me and I can seem so fun on YouTube, but if you meet me and I'm having a bad day, you're gonna get a horrible impression of me. So I feel like sometimes that's why like you might feel like the, the bad attitude. Now the fake smile thing. I would say majority of the time my smile is real, but I do think this is true. I do think it's true because you know what? If a passenger might be like annoying me, I'm just kidding. Passengers would never annoy me. <laughs> but you know what? Like if a passenger might be a, a teeniest bit, you know, they're never annoying, but if they could be the teeniest bit annoying, you're never gonna know. I'm still gonna look just like this, attending to you, even if I'm internally screaming. <laughs> you're never gonna know. I'm still gonna be smiling and being as nice and customer service oriented as I can. And yeah, so sometimes that fake smile is really gonna come on. Sometimes I would be like, yeah, that smile's fake. But I would say mass majority, I'm just generally in a good mood. <laughs> Number eight, and this one this one made me laugh, and that is that flight attendants all have to be skinny and hot. And I laughed because I'm just like, if this was the case, when I go back after quarantine, I would not have a job. I would absolutely not have a job. My hands have been all up in the M&Ms, all up in like the ho-hos, the Twinkies, you know what I mean? I've been munching a little too hard. So absolutely not, flight attendants do not have to be skinny. They do not have to be hot. I have looked a fair share of my days, you know, those those 4 a.m., 5 a.m. standby shifts where I, I just didn't look so hot. Yeah, I feel like the name of the game is to look professional, look appropriate, kind of tidy yourself up a bit. Now, back in the day, they did have to do weigh-ins. I will actually put the weight chart up on the screen if I can find it. And yeah, I wouldn't pass the weigh-in. Uh, let me just say it again. I would not pass the weigh-in. So yeah, being hot and skinny, no. Just be professional and have great customer service and then be ready to handle emergencies. Number nine, 
that flight attendants can have tattoos. <laughs> okay, but seriously, flight attendants can have tattoos. They just cannot be visible when you are in uniform. All tattoos must be covered, but I will say, some airlines do not allow tattoos, that is true. But I feel like most airlines, especially in the United States, are warming up to flight attendants having tattoos. They just don't wanna see them. So if you are somebody like me, who is nicely tatted and still gonna get more tattoos, they cannot be visible when you are in uniform, absolutely under no circumstances. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Number 10, that all male flight attendants are gay. No, listen, no. There are flight attendants that are men that are gay. Yes, there are flight attendants that are men that are straight. Yes, there are women that are gay. Yes, there are women that are straight. Yes, and everything under the umbrella and in between. No, not all male flight attendants are gay. In fact, I've seen a lot of the male flight attendants who are actually married to other flight attendants, like I've said. So yeah, that's an absolutely untrue stereotype. There's nothing in the rule book that says you have to be gay to work for an airline if you're a man. Absolutely not. No, just no, I can't say no enough. Just no. <laughs> And last but not least, I threw in an extra bonus of a number 11 since I threw the wine one in. <laughs> so number 11 is that all flight attendants are dumb. <laughs> no, I actually have a degree from Texas A&M University whoop, where I went to college and I was actually going to go do my master's or my PhD and then I ended up going a different route. But no, not all flight attendants are dumb. I'll, I'll be honest, like my common sense, not always the brightest, but like book smart. Come on, Jeopardy, let's go. <laughs> And actually, I would say flight attendants are some of the most creative people out there. And if you don't believe me, let's go ahead and find about it in the comment section and boost this engagement of this video. But yeah, flight attendants are not dumb. We're not all skinny. We're not all hot. We are just a wide variety of amazing people. I hope you guys laughed a little bit, learned a little bit. Go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh,